At Argonne National Lab, scientists are digging deep inside the coronavirus. We are looking at the structure of NSP15 protein from this new coronavirus that is spreading around the world. To be clear, Argonne doesn't have a sample of the virus, just the proteins inside it. Scientists have shared this image so drug companies and other researchers can study it and find out how the virus replicates and what could block that. Is stopping the virus's replication the same thing as finding a cure? That's right. This isn't a cure just yet. Scientists at Argonne say it will still take about a year to find out what can inhibit the enzymes inside the virus and about another year to develop a drug or vaccine. But getting to this point was possible thanks to this powerful technology called the Advanced Photon Source. It's really like a big X-ray machine. So we have X-rays coming from that direction, hitting our crystals, and then we, we record images on the detector that you see here. This is just one X-ray beam out of nearly 70 that are powered from particles moving at the speed of light. This is taking um, fractions of a second, really. Inside a ring, three quarters of a mile long. So large, Wrigley Field would fit inside of it. Researchers have used the facility to create images that led to drugs for AIDS, skin cancer, type 2 diabetes, and leukemia. It's also helped make breakthroughs for Ebola, Zika, and SARS. So the original SARS virus and this virus are, are very similar in many ways, but it's the little differences that are making it such a different impact. This is a monumental task. Does it dawn on you that the key yeah. public health is in your hands? Well, we work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And they aren't slowing down anytime soon. In Lamont, Illinois, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News.